Hey YouTube, Dan the Dentist here. Today I want to talk to you about cracked teeth, and more specifically about subtle cracked teeth. The coconut is pretty subtle. As opposed to the very obvious, you broke a piece, chunk of your tooth off um, eating a Tootsie Pop because you were watching the Tootsie Pop owl take three licks before biting into it. That number's wrong, okay? I don't know what's right, but that three's definitely wrong. So you call me up and you say, I'd rather live in a murder hornet's nest than have to deal with this. And I say, come on in. We're gonna take an x-ray. We're gonna do a visual examination. Probably gonna tell you you need a crown. Uh, maybe a root canal, maybe we have to pull it. It's gonna depend on a few different things. One thing is how much of your healthy tooth structure is left. And the second thing is how deep is that crack going? Is that crack only going to the gum line? Is it going below the gum line? Is it going into the bone? Um, because depending on where that's located, uh, I can't put fake material deep down underneath your gums or near your bone. That's gonna cause problems uh, uh, just trying to fix it. So that's when we have to consider pulling the tooth. But I wanna talk more specifically about the subtle cracks and diagnosing those and the treatments for those. So the tooth sensitive to cold, sweets, and pressure. And we're gonna do a test on the pressure first. I'm gonna take uh, the back of my instrument. I'm gonna hit on it like my eight-year-old niece playing the xylophone. And we're gonna see how you respond. Now I wanna know if it hurts more biting into things or letting go of things. So I'm gonna take something called a tooth sleuth and I'm gonna put it on a very specific cusp of that tooth and have you bite down on it to see if that cusp is more sensitive than the other cusps which could help me isolate where that crack is because it's probably splitting the tooth in one specific region compared to the others. So cracked teeth can sometimes be more sensitive biting into something or sometimes just letting go. People actually feel more pain letting go, which tends to be more telling of a cracked tooth anyway. If you think about how a crack works, I mean, I think on a microscopic level, there's actually cells that live inside your tooth. So every time you bite into something, you're shifting things around and that's triggering those nerves to send pain signals. So. Uh, you know, we obviously need to stop that process. And unfortunately, the, the body doesn't have the ability to repair cracked tooth structure. Um, so that's why we have to, to help out with, with fillings and crowns and things like that. Um, unlike bones, bones have cells living inside that do have the ability to heal bone, but unfortunately teeth can't do that. So we're gonna have to help it out. So after I verify that the tooth has structural problems, I need to see if that tooth hurts with cold. And if that tooth hurts more than your dog choosing your ex-girlfriend over you, then the nerve is probably dying. If that's the case, we need to do a root canal, which is where we take that nerve out. And in the process, while we're in there, we're gonna check and see if that crack's going down the roots, because uh, that could be an issue too if the crack is leading into the bone. So to prevent further expansion or complete separation, we need to crown that tooth, which is kind of like if you were imagine chopping wood, if you had a block of wood, uh, you, you can take an ax and strike it and you're, you're just, you just have to strike it. It's gonna split it into two pieces. You know, it's not like you have to saw through, you know, a log with the, the ax to get it to separate. You just have to make nice initial contact, which is very similar to chewing, right? And so if you imagine if we took a steel hat and put that over the log and then strike it, it, the ax is just gonna deflect off and nothing's gonna happen to the log underneath. So imagine that steel hat sitting on the log is like a crown that we're putting on top of that tooth. If you think about the mechanics of how a tooth comes together, whenever you bite down, uh, the teeth making contact wanna actually, they want to split, they wanna tear each other apart um, horizontally away from each other. But when you have a crown on top of a tooth and you bite into a crown tooth, it does the opposite. It actually pulls everything together, giving structural stability. So there are three things that I find that cause cracked teeth the most. One is metal fillings. The second is large fillings, despite what material they're made out of. And then the third is people that grind or clench their teeth. Metal fillings aren't really done in dentistry that often anymore, although uh, they can cause stress on the tooth because they're completely dependent on the enamel around them. They don't stick to the, the enamel. Uh, so if the enamel is weak in any way, um, things tend to break down. Metal also expands and contracts at a different rate as enamel, so that puts added stress on there too. If you think about large fillings, kind of like a road, if, if you just got a road full of potholes, you're gonna start seeing the road itself just break down completely, and then you just gotta replace the whole thing. So with a large filling, you have very little tooth structure supporting all of this fake material, and that's just a problem waiting to happen. Thing cracks are gonna form, pieces are gonna chip off and break. And then you have your grinders and clenchers. It's pretty obvious. There's, they're putting way too much force on their teeth and they can't handle it. So things are gonna break down that way too. 
Oftentimes, I'm gonna pick up on this before you do. Before you even have the pain set in, I guarantee you, I'm gonna see like a big metal filling in that tooth or a large filling, and then there's a big brown line, dark line going right down the tooth from where that filling is sitting. And I'll tell you, well, you probably don't have a lot of time left before you even get the symptoms or you get a big break on the tooth, in which case we're running the risk of that break being so deep that we end up having to pull the tooth. But in an effort to try to avoid you losing that tooth, I'm going to preventatively get a crown on top of that tooth. This is the way. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Don't forget to like the video if you liked it. I'm your online dentist. Thanks for watching.